All right, everyone, uh, it's time to start game. Uh, last week, I believe you guys were talking to the bartender about the criminals in the area, and he was giving you a rundown of all the gangs. So what's the plan? You guys gonna beat up some gang members? What What are you doing? Um, okay, you're suspicious that the bartender knew all about the gangs, including the ones that were kind of secret. Uh, so you're planning to do a stakeout? And what? One of you wants to try and seduce his girlfriend so that they can grill her for information? Why are you guys doing this? Thank you to my patrons on Patreon for making this video possible. This is one of the most common issues that a game master is ever going to face, when their players decide to go off the rails and into unplanned territory. Early on in my dungeon mastering career, sometimes my players would spend 30 or 45 minutes just trying to figure out what they were doing that session. This could involve maybe last session they defeated a big bad evil guy and the next session they're like, well we're gonna go to town but what are we gonna do in town? There were always main plot threads available but they always had trouble figuring out which one they wanted to do next. Early on I'd have a lot of encounters pre-planned. Improvisation could help me a little bit, but sometimes my players would come up with scenarios that I couldn't even think about in my wildest dreams. So they would take a half an hour to decide what they were going to do, and then I would have nothing prepared and have to come up with things off the cuff that weren't as good as stuff that I had pre-planned prior. For instance, I might have pre-planned an encounter where my players were on a boat and the sail was free spinning and hitting people who were on different sides of the map at different turns. However, my players might say, hey, we don't want to go on that boat, we want to go investigate the criminal underworld in the city. I could try and rejigger it so that it works in a criminal's hideout, but I don't have the time for that and I'm not sure how a mast spinning works in a criminal's hideout. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're having the same issue as well. And if you have figured out a solution for this, please tell me in the comments below. It would be good to see what other people have done in this situation. For me, it wasn't until my Changeling the Lost game that I actually solved this issue, at least for that group. I started listing off all the plot hooks that I had given to my players and put them into a poll on Discord. But I didn't stop there. Instead of giving them to this at the beginning of the session, I gave this to them at the end of the session. This way, I could take the next week to prepare for the next session. I created these plot hooks to be covered in just one session each, and by the end of it, it would create more plot hooks that the players could then follow. Sometimes we would finish these plot hooks earlier than anticipated, so then I allowed the players to decide what their characters were doing in their downtime and we'd roleplay that out. It was quite fun actually. Sometimes we wouldn't be finished with the plot hook in the session, and we would have to have a second session to finish it. I was inspired by West March's style games where the players decide what quest to take on instead of finding out what they're doing the day of the session. If you'd like to find out more about West March's, I did a video on it where I talked about my own variation of it called Open City. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.